Rockstar Games Presents Table Tennis is a table tennis simulation video game developed by Rockstar San Diego and published by Rockstar Games. The game was released for the Xbox 360 on May 23, 2006 in North America, and on May 26, 2006 in Europe. It was released for the Wii on October 16, 2007 in North America, and on October 19, 2007 in Europe. The game is a realistic simulation of the sport table tennis, with the main objective to make the opponent fail to hit the ball. The game features various methods of serving and returning the ball, designed for players to beat their opponent. Players can compete against the game's artificial intelligence, while the game's multiplayer mode lets two players compete in matches, either through local multiplayer or online. Initially developed specifically for the Xbox 360 console, the development team took advantage of the hardware's graphical power, allowing the game to play at a faster pace than with previous hardware. The game was the first to be developed using Rockstar's proprietary Rockstar Advanced Game Engine. Its announcement in March 2006 led to confusion and surprise, due to its significantly different style from Rockstar's previous projects. It received generally positive reviews upon release, with praise particularly directed at its simplicity, replayability and detailed visuals. Gameplay Rockstar Games presents Table Tennis as a realistic simulation of the sport of table tennis. In the game, two players hit a ball back and forth from one another. The goal of the game is to make the opponent fail to return the ball. Players have the ability to challenge a multiplayer partner, either offline or online, or can select to challenge the game's artificial intelligence. Players can select from a roster of 11 characters, which are unlocked as they progress through the game. Each character has particular skills in different areas. The game features two modes, tournament, which involves players participating against a variety of players in different circuits, and exhibition, which involves players challenging individual opponents in non-ranked matches. When preparing to serve the ball, players enter a stance. During this stance, players aim the ball, followed by selecting the amount of spin and power to place on the ball, as indicated by the spin meter. Players can also place a level of spin on their ball, curving it in a different direction. After the opponent returns the ball, players have the ability to charge their shots. As the shots are charged, the focus meter increases. When the meter fills, players enter the full focus state, in which their shots are faster and more accurate. Players can also perform soft shots and smashes, respectively decreasing and increasing the speed of the ball, and focus shots, high-powered returns that help players counter difficult shots. The Wii port of the game offers three different control schemes, standard, using the Wii Remote, Sharp Shooter, which uses the Nunchuck's analog control to place the ball, and Control Freak, using the Nunchuck's analog stick to control the player's position. Topic. Development Preliminary work on Rockstar Games Presents Table Tennis began in 2005, prior to the announcement of the Xbox 360, which the game was developed for. Rockstar San Diego, the core team behind the game, found that the hardware allowed them to develop games at a faster pace than with the previous hardware. Rockstar president Sam Hauser felt that Rockstar San Diego was a suitable developer for the game due to their demonstration of skill in developing advanced engines, particularly early in a console generation, citing Midnight Club, Street Racing and Smuggler's Run both 2000, which were launch games for the PlayStation 2. Hauser also said that, though the game's physics were achievable on the old hardware, the team waited for the possibility to develop for the Xbox 360 due to the different level of production and technology that it allowed. In developing the game's concept, the team was fascinated with concentrating the entire power of a particular hardware into one activity. The game runs off the proprietary Rockstar Advanced Game Engine Rage, and is the first game to do so. Network programmer John Gehrig found the development of the online multiplayer mode challenging, due to the level of realism the development team attempted to create. In addition, the speed and accuracy required for the game was also a challenge for the team, due to the fast pace of the matches. When discussing the possibility of porting the game to the Wii, the team agreed almost immediately, as they felt that the console was a perfect fit for the game. 
While developing the Wii version, the team particularly considered how to serve all types of players, thus allowing a range of different control schemes. The game was first announced by Rockstar Games on March 3, 2006. Journalists noted the surprised reactions that the announcement caused within the gaming industry, which they owed to the game's significant difference when compared to Rockstar's reputation of developing mature titles. The game was released for the Xbox 360 on May 23, 2006 in North America, and on May 26, 2006 in Europe. On July 18, 2007, Rockstar announced that the game would be ported to the Wii, taking advantage of the motion-sensing Wii Remote. The Wii version was released on October 17, 2007 in North America, and on October 19, 2007 in Europe. Reception Rockstar Games Presents Table Tennis was released to generally positive reviews. Metacritic assigned an average score of 81 out of 100 based on 75 reviews for the Xbox 360 version, and 68 out of 100 based on 36 reviews for the Wii version. Reviewers particularly praised its gameplay, detailed visuals, simplicity, and online multiplayer. The technical aspects of the game, such as the graphics and animation, received acclaim. IGN's Douglas C. Perry felt that the graphics and motion capture are exceptional, and the animation is beautiful, as well as praising the stable frame rate. Ryan Davis of GameSpot wrote that the characters were designed with phenomenal detail, though felt that there's not much else to look at. GamesRadar's Dan Amrick commended the game's player models and lighting effects, stating that they put the hardware to impressive yet playful use. Tom Ori of Videogamer.com felt that the visuals improved the gameplay, particularly applauding smaller details such as the player models and ball physics. Many reviewers found the gameplay simple yet effective. Perry of IGN found the gameplay deep and addictive, and the controls intuitive. GamesRadar's Amrick echoed similar remarks, writing that the controls feel accessible without alienating serious sports gamers. And Ori of Videogamer.com called the controls slick. Eurogamer's Tom Bramwell also praised the game's simplicity. The game's multiplayer mode was commended by many reviewers. GamesRadar's Amrick felt that the multiplayer mode extended the game's replayability, giving players a reason to return to the game long after they've learned the weaknesses of the playable characters. Ori of Videogamer.com and Bramwell of Eurogamer both named the online multiplayer excellent. The former noted minor lag but wrote that the performance was generally very good. When the game was ported to the Wii, the additional Wii remote controls received positive reactions. IGN's Mark Bozen felt that they were an improvement over the original controls, calling it a Huge testament to Rockstar's design. Eurogamer's Ellie Gibson found that the altered controls work perfectly, finding them intuitive and easy to grasp. GameSpot's Davis wrote that the controls work pretty well, though felt that they failed to complement the gameplay. Conversely, Ori of Videogamer.com felt that the original controls have more depth than those on the Wii. Following its previews at the Electronic Entertainment Expo, the game won Best Sports Game from GameSpot, and received a nomination from IGN. At the end of the year, the game received nominations for Best Sports Game from GameTrailers. <laughs>